and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For the return of Orzhov Dread Foretold, we tried this deck yesterday and it didn't work out too well, but if you watch like the end of the stream, we took a lot of time and changed a lot of cards. And so we, we kind of have a, a an updated uh, version and we got a donation to try it out again here with the updated version. Um, and we're gonna see how it goes. Um, you know, excited to, to give it another try. Um, you may see over here tonight, we'll be playing our, our normal four decks like always, but then also we're going to be streaming late because I'm going to be going with uh, Boot to the Head, who's a mod in chat. We're going to be playing some Overcooked too, so that'll be a lot of fun. We'll be recording that for YouTube also, so those of y'all on YouTube, hope you check out those videos and just have some fun watching us play some Overcooked too. All right, but anyway, um, yeah, let's get to our deck. The main thing that we're adding that we didn't have before, we didn't have the castles in the in the mana base, and not having the castles meant that we just kind of petered out at like the late games, and we couldn't really um, couldn't really keep up with like the cards that that opponents had because our opponents had like Castle Lock Twain, and they were drawing extra cards, and we couldn't. So now we do. Plus, we have Castle Ardenvale, which is just really good. Like Castle. Ardenvale is so clutch in these decks that are trying to play a lot of sweepers. Because if they have, like, that one creature that's, like, just, you know, like a 3-3 three, three, that's just, like, hitting you for three and your hand's just, like, a couple Kaya's Wraths, well, guess what? You kind of have to use your Kaya's Wrath to kill the 3-3 because three, three, otherwise it's going to kill you. But if you have Castle Ardenvale, you can sit back and just make some 1-1s one and block with the 1-1s one and wait for them to play, you know, like a second 3-3. Three, three. And then you can play your Kaya's Wrath and just get better value out of it. And then, you know, again, start making more tokens with your castle art and veil and so on and so um not only should we be able to dig a little bit deeper into our deck with the lock twain but we should be able to um make some more blockers stay alive play better defense defense with the art veil all of it's trying to set up um, like we're just playing our control deck here trying to kill all their stuff trying to set up our combo of having the wanderer in play and then casting a command the dread horde and uh, Command the Dread Horde. We can just bring as much as many creatures and planeswalkers as we want um, from both graveyards, throw them into play on our side. It would usually do tons and tons of damage to us, which would normally kill us, but the Wanderer prevents that non combat damage. So, pretty janky combo here. It's kind of difficult to pull off. You have to have the Wanderer in play before you play Command the Dread Horde, but we're going to give it a try. And uh, it didn't quite work out for us well yesterday, but like I said, we're updating it. We got these castles in here, and our sideboard has changed a whole lot. You know, last time with the sideboard, we just kind of had, like, a whole bunch of sweepers and expensive stuff. We got a lot cheaper things. You know, like, we didn't have, like, Duress um, or Dispark. Um, and, you know, so, like, we got, like, some cheaper good interaction. All right. So, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's get this jank on the road. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to play through a... Uh, traditional standard event again. We're going to play till we either win five or lose two, whatever happens first. Well, thank you so much there, Dirt Dog. Um, it says, you are by far my favorite Twitch streamer. Your streams and videos bring me so much entertainment while I go through surgery rehab. Thanks for being awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for being here. I hope, I really hope your surgery rehab goes well. You know, work hard on that. That's definitely important. Uh, to do and hope it all goes well um yes yeah, Nest. i have i actually have played a mardu version that's very similar to this with fires of invention so that you can play both of them the same turn and then with fires of invention um like with mardu you know like we'd have like the the red cavalier that would be able to throw a bunch of cards into your into your graveyard also um and you know kenrith and stuff like that um so yeah you know you can find that one with mardu dread horde um let's keep that so gideon's sacrifice could be another card okay i have i didn't really consider gideon's sacrifice whenever we were updating it so gideon's sacrifice would be um you would have to have a creature in play right but if you have a creature in play then you can have all the damage that command the dread horde would deal to you to the creature and with having castle art veil, it's a little easier to have a creature okay oh or a planeswalker okay or you could just have a planeswalker also yeah that's pretty interesting
Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Haunta Hightower, I think, is too expensive for the mono black deck we played yesterday. I think it's too expensive. Okay, so we want Takaya's Wrath next turn. I don't think we need Mortify also. I think we can take this damage and... Mm, it's kind of famous last words, isn't it? So, like, the, the options here are either play Temple and then maybe just crack the Golden Egg. Or I could play the Swamp, hold up Mortify, and I could still play Castle. And then... We're going to do that. We're going to just play the Swamp, hold up Mortify. I think that turn turn five, we can play the Temple pretty easily. You know, we got three things that cost four, one thing that costs more. All right, so right now, if I Mortify the Mayhem Devil, we save three, four, um, five, six. We save six life if we cast the Mortify right now. All right, maybe I should just save six life. No, yeah, Bullet Citadel is, is loss of life. So Wanderer does not prevent that. And unfortunately, Castle Loctwain is loss of life. So Wanderer doesn't prevent it. It's not damage. That would be really cool. I feel like Kaya's Wrath really helps too much right now. Because they would they would just do that, they would save their Wicked Wolf. Um, I don't know, let's try this Doom Foretold. I don't know, so they sack the Cauldron Familiar. Maybe they don't have another creature. Or food token. They just have two lands. I wish we would gain the life with the Othakaya. What if I cast Kaya's Wrath right now? So obviously they sack the wolf. Bring back the cat. Sack the cat. Oh, that's not what they were supposed to do. Oh, well, they're just doing that. And then sack in the oven? I mean, the only difference there, like, they're just not attacking for one. They're just doing one with that. Oh, no, they're just still sacking the cat. Okay. <laughs> so 
Well, they'll have to sack an oven. My skills are as sharp as my sword. Well, if if I just pass the turn, they could do the same thing, I guess. That's not a good draw for me. Mm. I mean, if I owe the Kai their face. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how it would work. Just can't ever get rid of these cats. That trailer comes draw is real good. So we have, we have three cauldron or three cry the carnarium in this in the sideboard to really help I against this. Not in the main deck. <laughs> yeah, the cat's gonna kill us. That's what it looks like. I could use drawing a command the dread horde and just get their uh, you know mayhem devil in play. Yeah, cleanse. Yep, cry cleansing. Do we have Legion's End in the sideboard? Legion's End isn't like reliable because of Witch's Oven, but it's it's certainly worth it to to play. Like, if I would have owed the Kai, Kai at them, I just would have gained three life, but it would have been the exact same thing. But it just forced them to get rid of the wolf and not just uh, get rid of the oven, but it would have been the same thing. Okay, we got Command the Dread Horde. Well, I got nothing over here. They got three things over there. So they're seeing it, they find Murderous Rider. <clears throat> uh, obviously they find Murderous Rider. John's Sacrifice deck is so hard to beat. So hard to beat. 
I thought we had that until the trailer crumbs draw. You know, like I thought we had it, but the, the trailer crumbs really wrecked us. Yeah, right? More like murder us, Ryder. <laughs> All right, Doom Foretold looks pretty poor. Not going to lie. It looked really poor. So we take out the Doom Foretolds. Um, that is, like, my only way to, like destroy like or no no we have planar cleansing so yeah we have never mind we have planar cleansing all right we're good hey triton so we got cryler canariums and kaya's Ras and realm cloak giants we can take out the oath of kaya's because of you know because of their uh witches ovens to sacrifice anyway We may need to play like these Disparks because of Wicked Wolf. I'm gonna take out Realm Cloak Giant. You're like, we're bringing in more sweepers with Planar Cleansing and Cryo the Canarium. I'm going to take out the, like, two sweepers and play two to Sparks. All right, let's try this again. I think I still want, like, the globes and stuff to just hit hit our land drops and, and kind of go through the deck that... Maybe the guild globes... I think I want the golden eggs, though, gaining that life. Ugh. Hey, Mank. I'd like to draw a cry of the Canarium. Or lands. The Wanderer is one of our worst draws. Do we have a bunch of cards that aren't doing anything right now? <clears throat> but we have we have time, we'll just crack this golden egg. Not been good draws. We did we did draw one land out of our four cards so far, but I was really hoping to draw more than that. It's very good that we get we get that Corvold out of here. Like they now it's kind of a I don't know that was a it's kind of an unnecessary Corvold, like the time that they played it. Does that mean they just have another Corvold in play? So obviously playing Murderous Rider would be kind of nice, but maybe they have another Corvold that I want to hold up this Mortify slash Dispark for.
don't know why I didn't just mortify that in the first place. Probably should have done that. But I guess I guess I was you know worried about another Corvold being launched like that. Because yeah, like they yeah they just played that Corvold and I got to kill it and they didn't get to draw any cards. It's kind of surprising. But yeah, let's definitely get rid of that other trailer crumbs now so they don't get two free cards. They only get one free card. But yeah, that's why. That's I agree. I agree they wouldn't just waste one if they had only had one Corvold. They probably wouldn't waste it like that. They probably have another. Come on, land. Yay. All right, so start <clears throat> clearing up some of these geese. Yep, they had another one. All right, they get to draw two. Technically draw three. Yep. Yeah, Corvold isn't itself. It's pretty easy creature to deal with, but it's it entered in just through three cards. Like that's that's why it's so good. And if if you don't kill it right away, then obviously you're in a whole lot of trouble. We need to draw these lands. We're not doing a good job drawing lands. Oh come on, a third Corvold. Just draws another three cards. Oh, you should have left me alone. Alright, so if we draw a white source, we'll have a planar cleansing, but. So it's a lot of cards in hand. I would like to dispark the Deathless Knight. But we can't because of Witch's Oven. Ugh. Now we can. Yeah, I did not specify what kind of white source I wanted. I'm not good at that. <laughs> Forgot to do that. I didn't play out the rider because I was just going to play the planar cleansing the next turn. 
But obviously, if I knew they had another Deathless Knight, I wish I did. I'm glad I played both of the sparks. But unfortunately. Yeah, I mean that Deathless Knight's just really good. Yeah, I think Deathless Knight has four devotion to black. So yeah, Deathless Knight into Grey Merchant. Yeah, that could be really good. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it is both four devotion to black and four devotion to green. So I figured. Alright, and that's lethal. So just bring back the cat, bring back the Deathless Knight. Cat does one damage, Deathless Knight does four. Deathless Knight makes that matchup even uh, much worse than it normally is. It's already, it's already just so hard to beat the Jun Sacrifice deck with a control deck. We're just trying to do our janky combo thing. Stop killing me with 4-2 haste things that never die. Yeah, we still didn't get to do the, the combo. Never can. Yeah, can we just play like a, a mid range deck? <laughs> we've only played. We've yesterday we played Jun Sacrifice and like a mono red aggro that killed us really fast. Now Jun Sacrifice again. The combo of this deck is um, Command the Dread Horde with the Wanderer. <clears throat> I do not like seeing Blood Crypt. That's probably the worst land to see, right? Should have played the castle untapped, and then I would have had Murderous Rider available here, so I could have Murderous Rider untapped Doom for Tolden. Yeah, we gotta draw our sweepers, but we have a lot of sweepers, especially after sideboarding. When we get to add three more Cry of the Carnariums in. Do I play Doom Foretold, or do I hold up Rider? I guess I'm supposed to get this going. Come 
Come on, Kai's Wrath. We got four of you. Where are you at? Oh, I'm not. I'm not sure, Choco. Um. So that's lethal. Yeah, I mean, that's just lethal. I can uh, crack the egg, but then they activate night. I can cast this, but I take, take six. <laughs> These, the problem is, like, the command the Dreadhorde and the Wanderer just do absolutely nothing unless, unless you're, like, ready to, co to combo off, like, super late game. They just don't do anything. All right, we're we're taking it out. We just can't. This matchup is just too fast. And they they really just don't do anything to help us win. <clears throat> um Yeah, like it's just too slow for this matchup, so we're gonna have to take it out. But now we have our, we still have our four Kai's Wrath. We got a Realm Cloak Giant. We got three Cry the Carnarium as well. Yeah, Wanderer and Dreadhorde work together. What do you? Why are you saying they don't work together? This is Good Thing Go by Quinn X C I I. Hey, Jetter. No, of course, no. Dreadhorde is damage, not loss of life. Like, we wouldn't put this deck together if the combo didn't work. Yeah, it's very hard to protect Wander. Yeah, the command is exclamation point song, but it just isn't, it hasn't been working for like six weeks, and I, I don't really know why, but it basically just doesn't work, so. Well, that's the command. Stormfist Crusader is really, really strong. So last game <clears throat> dealt lots and lots of damage to us. I'm very glad that we got rid of it. And this is what our deck's trying to do. This is much better for us. No, Hazuki, I don't know what the list is. 
I don't I don't know what the the deck is yet. I haven't I haven't received the deck yet. So this will just make them discard both their cards. And I draw two cards. In a good spot. We're ahead on the life. <clears throat> We're ahead in life total. We got two creatures. They have none. And we have two cyclers in hand. And we got a castle now to make some more creatures. So I'll be shocked if we lose this from here. They could draw like Rotting Regisaur and then draw Embercleave. I don't know, that still doesn't kill me. All right, much better. Unfortunately, we had to take out our cool janky combo to just play a regular control deck but we, we picked up a win, so that's good. The tie, uh, yeah, has has some bicycles on it. That's the, the pattern. It's on just some bicycles. How to make how to make your jank deck work. Pour it out the jank. <laughs> um yeah, that we did not have four uh Othakaias in here, but yeah, I mean Othakaias I mean this kind of matchup you'd just love to have Othakaya, certainly. Alright, well this hand is hope they don't have I mean we're gonna keep this with good man and everything. Kaya's Wrath is obviously our most important card. We just hope they don't have um one of their four discard spells. You know, if they have one of their thought seizes, whatever the name of that card is, that I can't think of right now. Yeah, this is Fits in the Tantrums, is the band. And the song is Out of My League. You are out of my league. Got something like that. Good. They don't have black mana to cast Thoughtseize. Boo. Stormfist Crusader. Drill bit. Yeah, that card. That's the, the Thoughtseize. No. Lucky I got a backup Wrath. Better not have a backup Thoughtsies. Dang. Stormfist Crusader has not been helping me. Not been helping me. Uh, 
Well, even with all those draw steps, we didn't draw anything else to do before turn four. This could be rough. I mean, so they have Blacklands Paragon, I'm dead. Uh, I guess my only play to try to not die to Blacklands Paragon is play Guild Globe and hope to draw instant speed removal. Or I could just hope they don't have that and they have nothing and I just play Doom Foretold and get rid of the Embercleave. In the speed removal. Okay. It's in the speed removal. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Almost dead. No, I don't think they have Bone Crusher Giant. They do have Haste Creatures. They have a Haste Creature. Murderous Rider doesn't save me either. <laughs> yep, we're in danger. Because... Rider doesn't really stop me against a, a haste creature anyway because of Embercleave, right? I guess maybe it does. Yeah, I guess Ryder would have saved against Fervent Champion. I was thinking it wasn't going to. But I guess it would have. Alright, so that Ember Cleave... Huh. Why wouldn't they kill the Murderous Rider? Alright, we're up to five. 
Man, drawing that... Um, drawing that Murderous Rider for us was clutch. That was, yeah, that swift end top deck was clutch. We gotta win! We won! Doom Foretold was awesome. Gained us a bunch of life. <laughs> DGs. We did it. Okay, we got our Doom Foretold. Ooh, this could be a good Command the Dreadhorde matchup. Scry 3 to the top. That just has to be the the perfect three, right? Like, if you s keep all three scry to the top when you know you have another scry three, and you're like, no, these three are just so good that I can't possibly do any better. It means they, they absolutely have Fire Zone Invention on turn four, 100%. And so, yeah, they just have... Turn two stomp into Bone Crusher Giant. Into fires. Get him, do for told. Get him. Get him. I mean, I could just be dead if they have Cavalier. Yeah, I guess if they have Cavalier, I'm dead. Yeah, I guess it's lethal. Yuck. That's a lot of damage. All right, to spark, Murder Strider. Um, probably one of these duresses. Maybe a new gun. Let's see. Othakaya gone. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of like all these cards. I don't really need all the like duress. Basically, is, is for fire is to try to hit fires. Obviously, they have a whole lot of creatures though too, so maybe I just shouldn't play duress. Wanderer can exile big things, so wanderer is actually pretty useful here. Ugin kills fires as well. We just play one Ugin, and I guess we just don't play duress. Sound bug. <laughs> yeah, they did have seven scries on turn one because of the scry land too. Yeah, they had they were just, and they just kept them all on top. They're just like, we have the I have the perfects. Don't worry about it. The absolute perfect hand. The problem is like that wanderer is, is really good and I kinda need that wanderer, but I also I need land more.
Come on, fourth land. Come on, land. Ugh. Man, this was such an important turn to hit a land drop. Man, that was such an important turn to hit a land drop and just play the Doom Foretold. Yeah, the 26 lands, and, you know, we got to draw the two extra cards. Okay. Here we go. Let's get start. Um... And, of course, we scry a spell down to the bottom. If I play Doom Foretold right now, all it does is make them... All it does is make them discard. Basically just looking for a fire so they can like play fires and start unloading their hands. This is my guess. I would like to draw Mortify or Dispark. Fire will do. Um. Oh my gosh. Had six lands in hand. That's gonna do me so much damage. Holy crap! I guess I really should have murderous rider that. I didn't murderous rider because I liked getting down the doom foretold and force them to sacrifice. Dang. That was a great play by them, too. Yeah, I'm gonna play this pretty perfectly. Except for that, with that stomp. They should have waited for me to, like, tap out. They didn't need to do that right then. Let's try this. Obviously, I'm dead if they have another stomp. Um. You show remorse. I'll show respect. That's more like it. That's another stomp. 
Wow. That Cavalier turn that I did not Murderous Rider the Cavalier, that's what cost me that game. Them having the six lands in hand. Um, and then and then the that and then the Brazen Borrower. You know, like that combination. The Brazen Borrower play was awesome. Yeah, just that, that combination just dealt me, you know, like another like 15 damage, basically. Mink with the tier one sub. Thank you so much. Thanks for the tier one sub there. Oh, looks like that's our second sub of the day. Well, thank you. All right, so yeah, so basically, we're trying to make this combo work, but it just did not, it's just basically impossible to do. <laughs> it really seemed like it. You know, like we just played uh, five matches with the deck and we never, can never pull it off. It's just basically impossible to like, actually play the Wanderer on tap and then play Command the Dread Horde. Um, yeah, it just doesn't work. The other decks that we're playing are too good. You know, like we're like the decks in standard are really good. And our jank could never you know, we didn't play against any bad decks. We didn't play against any you know, like we didn't play against anything like that that really gave us time to do our jank. This is a, a similar kind of deck that I've, that we played before on stream that I think has a better chance of pulling it off basically because of Fires of Invention. I think Fires of Invention is like, you know, a really good jank enabler in standard. And with Fires, because you get to play the two spells a turn, all you have to have is your six lands, and then you just drop Wander or drop Command. You can just play them both. Um, this deck can, you know, has like Midnight Reaper that, that draws... A lot of cards, of course, but then obviously the Cavalier of Flame can just cycle through your hand. And if you have like an extra Wanderer command that's not doing anything, you can cycle it away. Or um, if you don't have them, you know, you can just cycle a bunch. You can cycle like a bunch of this stuff away and, and look for them. And so this is a similar kind of deck that I had a lot more success with. Um, yeah. So yeah, this is. Uh, this I remember the sideboard. The side, you know, like this was a, a donation deck. I remember the sideboard was was very janky. I didn't like the sideboard basically at all. Like Playcraft or Doom Foretold, I didn't like those cards at all. Um, Solar Blaze is kind of interesting with the Wanderer. Like that's that's something that's kind of interesting. But yeah, this has like Wanderer. Then you know, like Clarion doesn't kill your own creatures. Um, but you know, then we just have just kind of stronger cards. You know, like Kenrith is obviously a really strong card and we know how good cavalier is with fire you know kenrith and cavalier with fires and all that kind of stuff so yeah i think i, I think i liked this this kind of version more um so yeah so so thanks for the other donation again brainfly we tried it again but it just even with, with the castles this time just the format is is so aggro. You know, even the the Jeskai deck is really really aggressive. Um, it's difficult, difficult to stabilize and stay stay alive for a really long game, which is what what this deck needs to do. Okay, but that's Orzov Dread Foretold Part Two. Um, it went better than the first time, but uh, yeah, we could just have like yeah. Certainly, yeah, you could certainly just play like two Wanderers, two Command. Um, I just kind of kept it the same as what we had the first time. But yeah, we, you know, like playing three and three, um, we saw that be a detriment of them just hanging out in our hand while we were trying to use all of our other cards to stabilize and them not helping. Um, there we go. We tried it again. Uh, part two. I think it went better than the first time. I think, I, I think the deck... Uh, you know, played very competitive games, even if they weren't, you know, even though we, we didn't get them. I think we played some very competitive games there. Um, all right. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the, the changes that we made, you know, for part two for today. And also like the Marty version. I don't know if you like the Marty version more as well, like I was saying. But thank you so much for watching. Some more Zov Dread Foretold. And I will see you for the next video.